just want to take a minute to read uh, a special letter, not just because uh, Valentine's Day is Thursday, it's the same day as the Parkland shooting from, from a year ago. These are the words that I'm about to read are from Lori Aldeheff to her daughter, Alyssa, who was just 14 when she was killed one year ago. And Lori wrote this letter for this online project, Dear World, One World Strong. So I'm gonna try to get through this. Um, she writes, Dear Alyssa, it is Valentine's Day, a day full of love, chocolates, and flowers. For me, it is more than that now. Last Valentine's Day was the last time I saw you. You wore a black and white dress. Your long, dark hair dangled. Your makeup looked just right. Of course, your white Converse sneakers protected your feet as you walked into Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Valentine's Day is now about memories. Today, like all days, I remember you. I remember you weren't looking forward to going to school that day, and like many 14-year-old girls, you wanted a valentine and were disappointed that you didn't have one. High school love is magic. I was 14 once, and those butterflies had whirled inside of me too. I wanted that for you. I wanna get through this because these words matter. I remember the golden gift bag I gave you that morning. It held a pair of diamond earrings to make you feel pretty, a chocolate bar to make you smile, and a hair tie so you wouldn't ask for mine. I touched your ears, putting the stems of the earrings through your lobes. You said you were ready to go to school after that. You opened the car door. I love you, I said. I love you too, you said. Valentine's Day, the last time I saw you alive. She continues on, a year has been a long time without you. So much has happened I want to tell you about. I watch your brothers miss you terribly. They want to know that they miss fighting with you. They say thank you for convincing dad to get unlimited Wi-Fi. Dad fights for you every day. He is your voice. Grammy has honored you and became a school safety activist. Uh, we got a dog. Her name is Roxy, and she's a soccer player like you. She kicks the ball around the yard, but sometimes puts it in her mouth. And your soccer team, wow, what a group. They wear your number eight on their sleeves and have started using it sideways to honor you. Infinity. Oh, and I found out about the time you jumped off a bridge down by the beach. Alyssa, you jumped off a bridge? There are things I do in your memory that I never thought I could or would ever do. You see, a mother's protective instincts don't leave when we lose the ones we love. I talk to other moms who have lost children. We talk about you. We talk about their kids, but when we look into each other's eyes, we see it. A fire. I ran for the school board. I won. I screamed on national TV words of rage directed at the president. I started a nonprofit called Make Our Schools Safe, and there is a law named after you in New Jersey, Alyssa's Law. Uh, she goes on, but I just want to include her closing. She writes, it's Valentine's Day. As I remember you, grief washes over me, but that grief emboldens me to fight for change. I wish I could take all the bullets for you. It has been a year since I saw you, you in the black and white dress, those converse on your feet, and that smile. I'll never forget that smile. It feels like yesterday. I just want you back. Love forever, Mom.